Hi everybody, review time. I was shopping at Stop and Shop the other day and I saw a Newman's Own pizza that I haven't reviewed yet. It was ten nineteen regular price. It was two twenty off, so eight dollars, which eight dollars is really reasonable for, for one of these guys. Fourteen point four six ounces. Everyone that watch everyone that has watched my reviews has known that I love the Newman's Own concept. I really want this pizza to be great. Newman's Own, he's raised $600 million for charity. 100% of all profits, proceeds from all his products go to charities, basically kids' charities. So I really want this to be great. This is a unique pizza, Italian salami pizza, imported from Italy. It's got to be a good thing. No artificial colors and flavors. This is going to be a good pie. I know it. Very unique. It's a fully cooked pie, vacuum packed, in plastic. And then the salami was in like a sealed, like cold cut plastic that you'd buy like in the supermarket. So it was like totally separate and you could tell it's high quality salami, which is a good thing. I'm hoping for really good things from this. I really want this to be good. Here's the front of the box. Let's go to the back. Oh, it said 10 to 12 minutes at, at 425. I went 13 minutes. It seemed cooked enough. I don't want to burn it, so we will see how it goes. Let's check out the nutritional information. We got three servings in this pie. I'll probably eat half the pie. 320 calories a serving. 890 milligrams of sodium. Wow. Two grams of sugar. Here are the ingredients. I don't see anything crazy in there. But, oh, man, look at this. The entire pie is 2,730 milligrams of sodium. Wow. I think it's because of the salami. Salami is very salty, and the pie itself is probably salty. Hope it doesn't taste salty. Here is a nice story in the back. Here's the front. Here's what we got. What, we, what they advertise, what we got. All right, it looks it looks very similar to what they advertise. I don't see as much um, basil on there, but I think it's shriveled up. All right, let's see if it's crispy. It seems to have a crisp on it. Yeah, it's got a crisp. This guy, I think we're, we're gonna go eight slices. It's it's large enough. It sounds good. Maybe I should have went four slices. The salami's having trouble getting cut. All right, let me take let me take this slice right here. I don't know why. I just want the slice. Of course, it's got half a salami on it. All right, got a little floppage. It's brown, but I think I should have gone another minute. All right, we'll we'll see what happens. Cute little slice. Let me get a bite. Mm. It's heavy on the cheese, which I like. The salami dominates the taste. It's really good. But when you bite the salami, you get all salami taste. Let me get a big bite with salami and cheese. Mmm. I'll tell you right now, the mutts, super high quality. It tastes like fresh mozzarella. It really does. Let me get the crust. All right. I'll tell you right now, super high score. Imported from Italy. This is an awesome pie. Not the biggest fan of salami on pizza, but regardless. It's quality salami. It's quality ingredients. The sauce, not overpowering at all. You're getting a lot of cheese and a lot of salami flavor. I love this. Newman's Own, you've hit another home run. That's what I'm talking about. Definitely buy it again. You all should try this out for yourself. It's a great pie for eight bucks. Half of this should be enough for me for dinner. I mean for lunch or dinner. 
Very good pie, so it's enough for two people. Totally recommending it. Totally getting it again. Score-wise, because I'm not a big fan of the salami, even though this is really good and great quality, still going to give a really high score, but not super-duper high score. 8.8 .8 is my score. You all should try it. Anyway, if you enjoy this video, please click like, subscribe to my channel, share this video. Everybody have a great day.